What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I haven't done Smash Brothers coverage in a long time but that's mainly because the game is pretty much complete or at least we thought it was. Now something strange and unforeseen happened earlier tonight and a Smash Brothers patch was released for the game that we presumably thought was finished. I mean considering Bayonetta and Korin's inclusion was supposed to be the last straw when it came to Smash Brothers patches this one has come around and it seems like it's done more than just fixing little glitches like Korin's grab infinite glitch or whatever. Whatever. This one actually seemed to address characters themselves, and everyone's caught off guard by this. Now, if you guys have been keeping up with competitive players like Zero, you would have realized that at this point now, these guys are usually comfortable in the metagame because it's now settled, there's going to be no more updates, so therefore they can make their conclusions as to what tier certain characters fall into, and overall there's much more of a sense of stability when it comes to using certain characters because you know they'll be that way for a long time, but understandably so, a lot of the competitive players are a little upset by this. even though. I don't think we ever specifically heard that this would be the last patch per se, but it's a balanced patch that comes through at a time where we thought the game was complete. Let's take a look at exactly what the article, or at least the Reddit post, is saying about this and the current changes that are being determined. I also have Zero's Twitter page opened up in another tab as well, so we can take a look at some of what his speculation and what his thoughts are and opinions of these changes, because apparently they made some changes to Sheik, and a lot of people are pissed off about this, man. Everything's burning currently, so I mean, for me, it's like, Okay, I mean, I'm not really that big of a competitive player. I do like playing, seriously, but I guess more changes are good in a way, more balancing, but it's it's shaky ground now because, okay, we thought this was going to be the way the character was permanently, and now what's going on? Anyways, let's take a look at this. Big shout out to R Nega. This will all, <laughs> this will all be in the description, all right? Anyways, so if you're currently playing the game, exit out and go to the eShop. You can download the patch from there. So let's see exactly what this changes. First time reaction, I didn't see this either, so we'll be going through all these changes ourselves. Um, Meta Knight's up air does 1% less and sends the opponent at a horizontal angle. So that, you know, big significant changes here. Like moves are definitely being altered. Um, big, big balance patches, man. And Ganondorf's jab has less startup and end lag than before. So. Now, in the last patch, the 1.1.4 the patch, I think that's what it was called. I don't remember the exact names, man. All I do is play it, but there were a lot of buffs applied to certain characters. Maybe not in the best ways, but regardless, still buffs. And it, it kind of made things a bit more even grounded, although it didn't really knock too many of the top tiers out of their positions. Like, you know, I mean, you still have Rosalina on top, you still have Sheik on top, of course, but you also have Bayonetto coming through with those pretty much zero to kill combos that are almost non diable Like, it's kind of crazy. I haven't really fought a super high-end Bayonetta yet, but considering that I'm going to Chicago to play against Shofu and the other guys, I might just encounter and see exactly what kind of terror brand Bayonetta can really bring to the field. But anyways, Ganondorf's jab has less startup and end lag than before, and his up smash uncharged now does 24, but apparently that's some misinformation there. Ganondorf's up air angle now sends more horizontal, similar to his F tilt, so that means more deadly then. Ganondorf's down beat with a foot does 2% more on the early and late hits, and as a result, kills earlier, of course, because of the more damage. And then Cloud's up air nerfed? Whoa, okay, so less damage on Cloud's up, um, up air. And you know what? That's a deadly ass move. I don't understand why they did so. The move seems to have a shit ton of priority. And plus, from the way that the animation works, when doing it late, you can still reach up higher than his current hurt by. It's kind of, it's hard to explain from my perspective at least, but his up air is definitely one of his best moves, considering that it has so little end lag when you land. And plus, it comes out kind of quick. And on top of everything else, you can do it so close to the fucking ground that the hitbox is able to cover a huge area when you're landing with that thing. I've seen people do plenty of sick up air combos from landing with it and then continuously going in. I think you can get a string of like three with that shit. But anyways, it's been nerfed to 12% damage. Understandable. So, I mean, I, I get it. Maybe that move was a little bit over the top, at least in my opinion, but hey, whatever. So now, Sheik may have also gotten nerfed. Apparently, this one is still in the air. We don't know for a fact, but I was looking on Zero's Twitter, and he's, he's reporting that Sheik's needles have been reduced in range. I don't exactly know how true this is, but I'll leave a link to all this stuff in the description as well, too. Apparently, we're going to be seeing some changes in regards to how Sheik is played. And I mean, we all know for a fact, Sheik's neutral game is aided big time by the use of those needles. Maybe the nerf won't affect her too much, though. Maybe people are jumping to conclusions way too fast. Although, I'm not a fucking top-tier tournament player. I don't bring home trophies and shit like Zero does. But a change in the regards of how far the needles go could very well change the pressure that Sheik is able to apply mid-game. Um, characters will be able to play... I, I mean, I don't know. They don't seem like they are reduced that much, in my opinion. I mean, 
But you know, I don't play with this character all the fucking time. If there was a change to like Robin or Corrin, then I would know that. But I don't really don't know Sheik. But okay, yeah, maybe the range was reduced a, a little bit. And then also he says, up air is four hits, down throw up air can still combo five hits, different knockback on the throw, but still an amazing 50-50. So there's changes here, guys. If you are if you are adamant on using a certain character and you can tell when differences have been made, maybe you can contribute to the thread as well too. All this will be linked in the description, but this is basically to let you know that Smash Brothers has just received another patch, 1.1.5. Let's let's see exactly what the hell is going to happen here I'm gonna be playing with my characters as well too so I'll tell you in the comments myself if I see any differences and if you guys notice any differences and you know you have them confirmed as well too that's the thing a lot of people say that oh when a patch happens oh this thing feels different but actually it's not it's kinda of hard to tell but make sure you verify it with a pro or something like that I'll let you guys know what I find probably nothing I mean to be honest I feel like considering that this is definitely like the final Smash Brothers 3DS and slash Wii U that we we're gonna get Sakurai wouldn't make too many crazy changes but there were certain things that I know he did want to patch out glitches and whatnot but hopefully nothing too wild I'll talk to you guys later on apparently these small little changes here in regards to the damage that's being done and the slightly different angles on hits that's all right but I mean when you have something like weight changes like like such big changes with the last patch hopefully this one doesn't present anything like that I'll talk to you dudes later on Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.